If you haven't tried bionicchaos.com yet, please go check out the site. Don't forget to provide your feedback. So this tool is actually showing you image compression. It can be used for any image, of course. In this case, it's uh, showcasing medical uh, data. You can use a uh, different, it's a wavelet transform, so you can use different uh, wavelets inside how many bits you have in the image, the level of uh, compression. So essentially, the higher the compression, the, the more levels, the more compressed it will be. And uh, the PSNR, meant to the peak signal to noise ratio, meant to essentially tell you how easy it will be, you will be able to reconstruct the compressed image back to the original one. Yes, yeah, so you can increase the number of levels and the, uh, increase the number of beats. Yes, yeah, so you can play uh, play around with that. What else we got? The feature extraction. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, using the detection type. You have three types at the moment. The uh, fast, RS, she, Tomasi. There's a description of each one at the bottom. And you can see how well uh, it's working. So in this case, the fast algorithm is finding too many points. The Harris is kind of okay if that's what you're looking for. Probably be aiming at the brain, but then you need to uh, define your region of interest to be the brain. For example, this algorithm is not doing that. But you can just uh, see the difference it makes on uh, different images. This is an example of an ischemic stroke. So again, the fast still processing is probably doing uh, too many uh, data points. It's not actually producing anything at all. The Harris found all these bits there, some over here. I don't know why. Yeah, the Shitomasi indicating more points. So yeah, so you have to obviously tune tune these things up to the data set that you have. There's a bunch of uh, blocks. Uh, as well, you have some silly images being generated by uh, uh, DALI 3. Some of them are not too bad, some pretty horrendous. Surprisingly, we get some relevant ads. I don't know about that, it's not, not sponsored by it, it's just Google, Google Ads. I think I covered this one before. We have uh, a standard, uh, not standard, this is from an implant, implant uh, EEG 16 channels. Can scroll through the data and see what the frequency spectrogram looks like. And we have a similar tool that actually convert the EEG into music. So I don't know if it I don't know if it sounds like music to you. Right, this one give me an ad to learn how to play piano in only 21 days. Again, not sponsored by that uh, company, whatever that is, school, music school. Anyway, those uh, need uh, some uh, more development, but essentially the auto volume will make the volume very quiet when there is no seizure, like at the end of this uh, data sample. And we know there is a seizure in the middle, so it will become uh, louder. The auto duration will adjust itself to the window size. By the way, yeah, we need to record I'll record the instruction video of how I'm using this tool and pop it on the website at the bottom. So, yeah, because no one reads text. Well, at least I don't. I assume others don't read anything as well. So, it will be good to have a video showing how to use it. But we might be doing more work on it, so it will uh, change uh, anyhow. Yeah, there's a description of what the project is all about by GPT-4. Yeah, the bot must have found the about section on the site and yeah, it does mention that there is no currently an option to upload data. If you do want it to look at any data or for any of your data to be featured on the site, please go upload it onto GitHub or any other public repository. We're also looking at uh, another thing. We were thinking adding a couple of, uh, a couple of extra topics to the mix. So currently we're doing the the bot that plays the cardio game. Uh, we also have, uh, we're also generally looking, uh, we'll be trying to open review 
of a public uh, biomedical uh, data set like um, currently this uh, data on the page is actually using uh, data from um, ieg.org i think anyone can after a simple registration can go and uh, uh, get this uh, data so as i said we'll be looking at the different biomedical data sets uh, like the IEG, but the other ones as well. If you haven't tried bionicchaos.com yet, please go check out the site. Don't forget to provide your feedback.